In this short video, I will explain how to identify a short circuit. In a short circuit, there is a path with zero or very small resistance that allows current to bypass a circuit component like a resistor. Let's consider this diagram as an example. Here, current flows through both R1 and R2, but suppose we add this additional wire. In this case, the current still flows through R1, but because the wire we just added offers a path with no resistance, the current will bypass R2. In other words, none of the current flows through R2, and all of the current goes through the wire before returning to the battery. That means that this circuit behaves as if there is no R2. Let's now consider how we can identify a short circuit. For a simple circuit diagram like this one, it should be relatively easy to tell if there is a short circuit or not just by looking at it. But for a more complicated diagram like this one, you may find a systematic approach more helpful. We can use the color coding method which I described in another video to identify a short circuit. You can find a link to the video in the description below, but just briefly, in the color coding method, we use one color to trace a wire segment until we hit the resistor or battery, then we use a different color to trace another wire segment. Notice that we keep using the same color even if there are junctions. We repeat this procedure until all the wire segments have colors, making sure that we don't use the same color more than once. Assuming that all the wires have zero resistance, what we just did was to identify parts of the circuit that have the same voltage. For example, red represents one voltage value, blue represents another voltage value, and so on. Now that we color-coded all the wires, we can identify if there is a short circuit. There is a short circuit if a circuit component has the same color at both terminals. If, on the other hand, none of the components has the same color at its terminals, then there is no short circuit. In this particular case, R5 has green at both terminals, so there is a short circuit, and the circuit behaves as if R5 is not there, as shown in this diagram. Here is why this method works. As I explained earlier, each color represents one voltage value. So if a resistor has the same color at both terminals, then there is no voltage difference across it. In this particular example, R5 has green at both terminals, so the voltage difference across R5 is zero. According to Ohm's law, current is proportional to the voltage difference, so the same color implies that delta V across R5 is zero, which in turn implies no current flow through R5. So there must be a path with zero resistance that's allowing the current to bypass the resistor. Although a battery does not obey Ohm's law, we can use a similar argument to show that when a battery has the same color at both terminals, there must be a short circuit.